Chapter 13, section 2 is where we're at today. We're studying adding and subtracting polynomials. Now, this is in some ways similar to what we did yesterday, but yesterday we only worked with one polynomial. Now you're going to take a polynomial and put it with a whole other polynomial. That's what we're covering today here. Now, there's two methods to adding and subtracting polynomials. You can work with them vertically or you can work with them horizontally. Now, I tend to prefer adding and subtracting vertically because that's like old school elementary arithmetic when you first learn to add and you line up the numbers and you do the problems this way. That's kind of what we do here and that seems to work well for a lot of people. You can also add them up horizontally. It's a little less writing but I more often see mistakes. I'll cover both with you. You'll have a chance to look at both and on the homework you'll get to pick which method you want to use. Alright, so procedures are described down here for vertical. You're going to change the subtraction sign into adding the opposite in each polynomial term. Change the subtraction sign into adding the opposite in each polynomial term. Now when I'm talking about polynomial terms, I'm talking about things in parentheses. Each one of those is a polynomial term, or that, at least that's what I'm calling it. Okay. Now, there are signs in the middle too, that's not included in that step. Those are in the next step. So anytime you see a subtraction sign in parentheses, you've got to change that to add the opposite. You did that yesterday, that's no big deal. Alright. Then, you're supposed to change the signs of each term after a separating subtraction. Change the signs of each term after a separating subtraction. Now when I'm talking about a separating subtraction, that's the signs that are in between the parentheses here, like these. Okay? In between two sets. Um, this one here would be one. This one here would be one. Now obviously not all of them are subtraction signs to begin with. So not all the problems have to have a change there. But some of them do. When you're going to make this change, you would change that to addition, and then everything after it gets its sign changed. And you'll see that when we get to those examples. Then you'll align the like terms vertically, and finally you'll sum. Now you're saying, well, sum, what about subtraction problems? At this point, after you've done the first two steps, there are no subtraction signs left. Everything is changed into adding the opposite. So I really do need sum there. Everything would get added up. <coughs> All right, as far as horizontal addition and subtraction, same first two steps, but then we just put the like terms together. We don't take the time to write it this way, like you would old school elementary arithmetic, and you just go for it. Okay, so let's go into the problems here. Example one is a short one, just so you get a little accustomed to what we're talking about here. X plus six, and you're supposed to add to that 9 minus 4x. x plus 6, and you're supposed to add to that 9 minus 4x. Right, so the first step, you're supposed to take care of subtraction signs that are in parentheses. So that's only one here. That's this one here needs to be changed. So I'm going to write this as x plus 6 plus 9 plus negative 4. So that's the only thing I did there. From step 1 to step 2, I changed subtraction into adding the opposite. The same thing you did yesterday. It should not be a big deal. Now the second step dealt with separating subtractions. We don't have subtraction in the middle here. We have addition. So we don't have to worry about that stuff. Third step, we're going to align the like terms vertically. So x plus 6, I'm just going to write x plus 6, no big deal. Now, 9 minus 4x, or 9 plus negative 4x, these are going to go underneath. Again, you want to line up the like terms. Remember, we talked about yesterday how you could put these two things together, but you can't put these two things together. Okay. So I want you to set it up so these are on top of each other like this. Or these are on top of each other like this. So, 
That means in 9 plus negative 4x, I'm going to put the 9 under the 6, and the negative 4x goes under the x. 